Faults and Fractures is a new plugin in OpenDetect version 6. The plugin combines attributes, filters, fault plane extraction algorithms, and various utilities under one single umbrella. Highlights are stunning new algorithms for imaging faults that originate from the Colorado School of Mines. Faults and Fractures can be run as a standalone plugin or in combination with dip steering. The latter combination extends the capabilities with dip steered attributes, dip steered filters and attributes computed directly from the dip field such as the set of volume curvature attributes. Let's first have a look at some attributes. Thinned fault likelihood is a revolutionary fault imaging attribute. Compared to semblance based methods, thinned fault likelihood images are much sharper and more accurate, especially on vertical sections. Thin fault likelihood is an ideal input attribute to compute fracture density and fracture proximity attributes. Fracture density reveals sweet spots in fractured reservoirs. Fracture proximity shows where in the data clean, unfractured areas exist. The Faults and Fractures plugin supports a new smoothing algorithm that uses thinned fault likelihood as the input. The smoothed seismic volume is very useful for structural interpretation. If amplitudes need to be preserved, we recommend to use the milder filters such as dip steered median filter or the dip steered fault enhancement filter. Both require a dip steering license. Under fault planes, you will find workflows to extract fault objects from fault attribute volumes. Presently supported are extraction of faults as bodies using OpenDTEC's voxel connectivity filter, extraction of fault planes and the extraction of fault skins. The latter are a new form of connected fault positions and attached attributes such as dip and azimuth. Here is an example of seismic and extracted faults from an offshore New Zealand demo dataset. What we see are fault skins extracted from the fault likelihood attributes. Fault skins can be QC'd using histograms based on the skin size, on the average strike, and on the property. We can filter these faults based on these properties using the green slider. The excluded area is displayed in grey. One, several, or all fault skins can be extracted as fault planes in 3D. For further analysis of the faults and fractures, we use Rose Diagram under Tools. There are two types of Rose Diagram based on the strike count and based on the strike and dip count. The rows diagram based on the strike counts is divided into 36 sectors. It counts the number of samples in each strike sector. The more counts in each strike sector, the longer the bar is. In the rows diagram based on the strike and dip count, the colors represent the number of counts in each sector. I see that most of my faults have a northeast southwest direction and they have a dip angle of between 50 to 85 degrees. One important thing I would like to show, that is the new machine learning fault prediction algorithm results as compared to the thinned fault likelihood results. You will see first the TFL results, these produced razor sharp faults. Then the machine learning fault prediction, these are UNET results. The machine learning fault estimator did a really good job in identifying and delineating these discontinuity features. All attributes and filters supported in the Faults and Fractures plugin can of course be combined with standard attribute analysis in OpenDetect. This makes Faults and Fractures the ideal toolkit for analysing fractures from multi-azimuth volumes. Thank you for watching. For a free evaluation of Faults and Fractures plugin, please contact DGB Earth Sciences at info at dgbes.com.